What's up, y'all? Today we're going to be working on this Toshiba, and uh, look at you, you can see me wearing a polo. Got a job interview this afternoon, so hopefully that goes well. So uh, here's an issue with a Toshiba laptop. It's a very old one, as you can tell uh, by uh, the fact that it's designed for Windows XP, but it, but it is Windows Vista capable. And you can also tell it's old by uh, the fact that uh, like there's like the actual movable latch, like where it latches into the plastic. So that's a you know a sign of a very old computer. Uh, so yeah, let's see. Um, this computer basically doesn't really boot into Windows. Um, if you try to go into I guess normal mode, not safe mode, uh, it just goes to a welcome screen and tells you welcome, but it never does anything. Uh, if you go to safe mode, it actually will boot. Um, and I'll show you guys a couple of things I've done so far to it. I have done a couple things to it so far. But uh, let's go ahead and see if we can figure this puppy out. So if you guys have a Windows computer that's just stopping at the welcome screen, hopefully this tutorial helps you guys a little bit. And here we are on that beautiful welcome screen to Windows Vista Home Premium. Uh, so basically what this computer does in particular is it says welcome, and then after a few, maybe a couple minutes it goes to black, and then after that point then I can control delete and uh, go to the uh, control panel. So, oh okay, there's actually our settings right there. It must have See if I hit cancel. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So it's so so it's at the black screen now. So we'll go ahead and put my put down my camera and control delete. And uh, it's actually pretty responsive when it's whenever it's on this menu, believe it or not. But uh, so we can go to all these things. We can switch user. It shows a user. Uh, I guess we can lock the computer and stuff like that. But you can start start manager and uh, comes up. One of the ideas that came up was do file new task run and then for that you do uh, x. Explorer <laughs> uh, exe. Did I spell that right? Yeah, I hope I did. Gosh, English don't don't fail me now. But so I think that happens in the case where like basically like Windows boots up, but there's no Explorer. But as you can see, this there's two versions of Explorer. So the one I just uh, started up, I don't really need to start up because it's already uh. You know, it's there was a there there was already that there. So I think that's maybe one solution if you if you're getting to this black screen and nothing's booting. But uh, in my case, that doesn't really solve too much. Um, but uh, it's obviously something to try, and it's fairly easy if you can get to the control panel, but you can't get into Windows. So uh, what I tried next was I went into safe mode, which uh, on these older computers, you know, you uh, it's fairly easy to get to. You just press F8 while you're booting. So. I'll go ahead and restart the computer, and then I'll press F8 to go into safe mode. As you guys can see, we're in safe mode now. Uh, might as well take this pop-up out of here. So what I did within safe mode was, as you can see, it is booting to the desktop now. So that means some sort of startup program might be causing an issue with, you know, Windows not booting normally, because safe mode basically just um, you know, only the vital uh, things to run Windows are being ran, so uh, you can't really run programs. I mean, certain programs will run, like if I try to open up uh, Internet Explorer, like see, like it runs, and I have uh, uh, networking turned on, but I'm not connected to my Wi-Fi, but uh, so, you know, some programs work, like for instance, like I tried to run a virus scan and it kind of ran, but it kind of didn't too. Some programs just run a little bit weird within safe mode. But what I did uh, to start right off the bat is you might have some sort of malicious program or something else like that, which is causing uh, issues to uh, you know boot into Windows. So I went into my uh, uninstall program list and uh, I just kind of deleted some programs. So as you can see now, uh, most of these really don't look that bad. Uh, these are generally fine programs. So generally what I do is I sort it by install date. So as you see, it's like, you know, 2016 is apparently the latest thing that's been installed on this computer. But uh, so like, you know, generally speaking, mostly reinstalled, mostly uh, uh, recently installed stuff is going to be the issue. But for the case of this computer, that did not fix it. But uh, in a lot of cases, that will fix it. By the way, getting into safe mode, especially like on Windows 8 and 10, is kind of a pain in the butt. So, God, do I have a video on that? I'm not really sure. But anyways, there's there's uh, tutorials online on how to get into safe mode. But if you can't get into safe mode on Windows 8 and 10, like sometimes you need like a bootable drive. It's really such a pain in the butt. Anyways, uh, so you can try running a virus scan or like Malwarebytes, if that'll run. I don't know. But... Uh, 
yeah, generally speaking, a lot of those programs do have issues uh, running. All right, cool. We need a new version of this. So maybe I'll try running my Orbites. Uh, we'll see what that does. I don't know if you guys can really hear as well. But uh, this computer has a really, really high-pitched so uh, sound coming out of it, which is really annoying. But, uh, so, you can try running some of that stuff in, you know, within safe mode to fix it. Um, these are all the ideas I have off the top of my head, so I'm just going to keep troubleshooting it myself to see what happens. I'll go ahead and try to run another uh, virus scan to see if that does anything at all. But, uh, yeah, so uh, I'll give you guys an update whenever I do have an update to give you. And as you guys can see, Malwarebytes did find some stuff. How much did it find? Uh, I don't know, a pretty good list of Garbo. Uh, not necessarily the cause of why Windows isn't booting, but obviously good to get off the computer. So we'll go ahead and quarantine those. Another thing I forgot to mention is another thing that I tried with, um, uh, you know, solving a boot up issue. Uh, something that I just personally thought of is uh, dis disabling starter programs. Uh, on Windows XP, I guess, I I'm pretty sure you can do it on XP, Vista 7, um, on all those, you go to the start menu and you type in msconfig, and then you have that option right there, which you open up, and then you can go to the uh, startup tab, and you can disable some startup programs, which as you can see, I already did. I disabled pretty much all the ones that aren't like you know, like the touchpad, uh, the um, audio, or the uh, Microsoft uh, drivers. So I, I disabled everything besides the Microsoft Core, like essentials and all that stuff. If you have, uh, ignore my text, uh, <laughs> if you have uh, Windows XP or 10, you um, can also do this, but whenever you go to this menu, it tells you just to go through the task manager. So if you don't know, task manager, you can right click on the uh, task bar and go to task manager. And uh, on Windows uh, X, uh, 7, or on Windows 8 and 10, you can do startup programs within this. You don't do that stuff uh, for the older operating systems, so keep that in mind. But uh, yeah, so at this point, uh, let's see, scan for viruses, uh, removed a bunch of programs, disabled startup programs. So it's a good, you know, those are all good things to do. We'll go ahead and restart the computer, and... Uh, uh, we'll see if it does something. I'm pretty sure it won't, but we'll find out. As I suspected, you guys can still see my reflection on the screen, which means there's nothing on there other than a cursor. So, back to the drawing board. Uh, if your computer isn't fixed by this point, mine isn't either. So, uh, I know those fixes will work for certain things, but uh, we'll go ahead and try something else next. I'll just have to think about what to do. I mean, there's different things you can do, uh, let's see, Windows Vista I'm not as familiar with, but I know like on Windows 7 and stuff like that you can revert, revert back to uh, like previous times and stuff like that before you did updates and stuff like that. Updates might have caused something like this, you know, a certain program you installed might have caused this. So uh, it's always stuff to look at if you can revert back to previous uh, Windows installations. Well, it's the next day with this Toshiba uh, Windows XP Vista laptop. So uh, today we're going to try something just a little bit different. Uh, like I was mentioning, System Restore. If you guys don't know how to get the System Restore, just uh, the easiest way for me at least is just a Windows button and then uh, type System Restore and then you know it'll come up. Just press enter and open it up. I already got it opened up and it took a while on this computer for some reason, but this computer is kind of old. So we got uh, various um, different uh, areas of like restore points. Uh, I, I believe if you've recently done a Windows disk cleanup, it, like there, there might not be like nearly as many of these, but you know, it's always a place to look um, just to give yourself options of what you can do. So um, I guess, I mean, realistically, you should probably do like the most recent one um, because then you'll have, uh, I mean, you'll have more Windows updates. Um, if there's things you installed, you know, it won't uninstall that, uh, all those new programs and everything. So you might want to try one of the more recent ones, and then after that, if it doesn't work, you can go back into safe mode like I'm doing here, and uh, go farther down the list and go to like that uh, that one, I guess. But uh, for now, I guess I'll go ahead and do, um, let's see, I don't know, uh, there, there's all these scheduled checkpoints. I'm going to go, I don't know, February 22nd, why not? So we'll see if that does anything for us. I'll keep you guys updated. Let's do it. Yeah. Well, apparently we got an error, but 
at the same time, we're also on the Windows desktop, so that's pretty cool. And then, as you can see, it's not it's not uh, safe mode because uh, this wouldn't look like this at all if it was safe mode. So that's pretty cool. Uh, obviously, there's something to do with this error. So maybe I'll go delete some programs and uh, recently installed stuff to maybe fix that. Maybe uh, run a virus scan. Uh, you know, stuff like that, uh, just to see what might be causing that issue. Um, and I guess maybe opening up Task Manager and stuff like that to see exactly what this error, uh, what file path it's coming from and stuff like that. And maybe it's coming from this RAM disk utility thing? I don't know. Uh, so I'll look into that, but, uh, and if there's an update, I guess I'll put it on this video, but if not, I'll just end it here. But, so if you guys had this issue where you're stuck at the welcome screen, a system restore is a good idea if... Uh, those first ideas didn't work. Uh, if the first re system restore didn't work, you know, you can try other ones, go farther back. That's obviously worth a try at least. Um, if it doesn't work at the system restore level, what I would personally do is uh, first off, skip register. God, Jesus. Okay. If the system restore didn't work, I would personally just back up everything. You could either uh, just go to safe mode and plug like an external hard drive into. A USB port which is not on this side of the computer uh, there's a couple <laughs> but uh, that's personally what I would do is just go to safe mode and plug a hard drive in and back up whatever files you need uh, you can also just take out the hard drive and plug it into a different computer and then back it up that way uh, but that's what I would personally do and then wipe the drive clean and reinstall Windows uh, one issue with doing that is you basically lose all your programs uh, and you really can't back up your programs you need the installation media for the majority of programs so that's kind of a pain in the butt. Uh, enable connect to internet. I don't know if you guys knew, but you can play this. Is it, is it going to let me play the game? Yeah. Oh yeah, let's go dinosaur. Let's get it. Yeah. Jump! Wait. Wait, okay, did I? Oh, did I die? I don't know. Yeah, I guess I probably did die. Whoops. Uh, so, uh, yeah. There's Charlie, by the way. He's being a cute little cat. So thank you guys for watching this video. Hopefully you thought it was helpful. If you have any questions, leave them in the comment section below. I work on computers uh, pretty much for a job. So uh, if you guys have any questions about it, just let me know and I'll try to help you out. But anyways, thank you guys for watching this video and I'll see you later.